okay so we are going to use the default cube not going to change anything select it go to front view scale it uh, tab on edge mode scale it on the x till here 7 for numpad uh, 7 for top view scale it on the x uh, till here then scale it on the z till here scale it on the y a little bit more control r two loop cuts scale it, scale those loop cuts on the x till barely till the edges and do this on the side view two loop cuts scale it on the y now and then two more loop cuts on this ang uh, this uh, angle and scale it on the z barely till it touches The reason we are doing this is because we are going to add a subdiv uh, subdivision surface modifier, and uh, it's going to add more ge geometry. But we want it to still look like a bed, and also give it a little bit more bevel. So if we hit Control Two to add a subdivision surface of two levels, and hit Shade Smooth, you can see it still it still is a rectangle, but has given it a bit of a bevel. Now let's go into Front View, Shift D, duplicate it, move it above. Mm -hmm. and then scale it 0.94 i guess then move it down a bit and then go to top view as uh, alt z and select these vertices and then move it over here alt z again okay that looks good now select this bottom frame shift d ro rotate 90 degrees move it over here tab and then move it up uh, select everything move it up holding control and then now move it down like this gx move it like this i think uh, i'll select this one tab on and then i'll move it a bit more and i'll move this one a bit more and now that the origin point is on the border it will be easier for us to scale it down on the z axis and our bed is ready now we are going to make the pillows we are just going to hide everything first we are going to select these both select the bottom frame control p object key transform and then hide it and now we are going to add a cube go to front view focus on that scale z move it down scale x move it Uh, scale it a bit here so i said move earlier tab on to edit mode control r 30 control r 30 now go to uh, scale it on the z a bit more just make it as flat as possible now go on to cloth tab add a cloth uh, now go on to physics tab add a cloth physics and under pre uh, select pressure and under pressure put 10 and select collisions self collisions and in field weights make gravity zero and play the animation the reason we made gravity zero is that when we play the animation it does not fall into the ground so we can fall onto the ground so we can see what it looks like play looks good a bit too scaled on the x mm okay shift just make some adjustments scale on the x shift no uh, no more scale just make as many adjustments as you want to make um hmm that looks good i uh, hit control 2 give subdivision surface modifier shade smooth go to modify step apply the cloth modifier then the subdivision surface modifier alt h to unhide everything select the pillow from here and then move it up rotate it 90 degrees on the z axis go to top view position it correctly so one over here and then one over here i'm going to wait position it as correctly as possible shift d x i could just add a mirror modifier i could add a mirror modifier Why didn't I think of that before? 
so add a mirror modifier x no 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 make it y not x and then select this object why didn't i think of that before? that is okay now i'm going to talk to you about an add-on i downloaded i saw uh, i read about it recently and i downloaded downloaded it and i've been using it since then it's an amazing add-on it's called drop it and once you install it what it does is if you move it up if you move an object up and hit v it will drop it to the nearest object that is below it amazing add-on use uh, it's very ha handful and i'm going to use it use it in every single project okay so after positioning the pillow correctly uh, we are going to make the blanket so to make the blanket um, i'm going to go to front view add a plane move it up and then scale it uh, on the y axis and the x axis like this much hmm that looks good actually i'm going to scale it on the x axis a bit more and then move it a bit here because i'm going to do a folding here that fold that you see every time so tab on to edit mode right click subdivide subdivide it at least 40 times i hit 2 to go to edge select and then odd click this edge and then go to front uh, front view o for proportional editing then move it here um, here and move it uh, a bit like this much that looks yeah that looks good just make a fold i think i'm going to you know let me scale it on x a bit more move it a bit more here and then i'm going to select that and then move it a bit more on the X mm, yeah that looks good now go to the physics tab enable cloth and make sure to make this a collision object this a collision of no this a collision object this a collision object this I'm just going to keep it in case and play and voila oh one more thing select this and select self self collisions now it won't collide with itself anymore that looks a bit good i'm just going to you know it's a bit too scaled on the x axis mm, let's play and check perfect or maybe even a bit more scaled on y scaled on the x and now let's see great this works perfectly fine i guess so i'm just going to go to the frame that i think is the perfect one this one looks really good so I'm going to hit Ctrl 2, add a subdivision surface modi modifier, shade smooth, add a solidify modifier of uh, 0.02 thickness. Mm, yes, that looks good. So let me put it there. Okay, now apply the cloth, then the subdivision surface modifier then the solidify modifier now apply the collision on every single object that we applied it on that we put it on apply the collision collision and that's it now we just have to make the bed legs add a cylinder scale it on the Z scale it down now move it over here gx move it here then move those both cylinders uh, 
what am I doing? Yeah, move those cylinders over here and then duplicate it over here. That looks good. Now just select every everything. Um, just select select the light and the camera. Control I to select everything else, and then select the frame. Control P object uh, keep transform. Now they're all going to be parented with the um, frame. Now let's move it up. Shift A add a plane. Make it bigger. I don't know like scale 50. Okay, that looks good. Let's position the camera. Hit Control Alt O N. Go to view and then lock camera to view. Move it uh, like you normally move around in the viewport. Um, yeah, that looks good. Uh, I've put it in my quick favorite, so I can just hit Q and then not lock camera to view. Uh, I'll delete the light because we are going to use an environment texture. So first, let's go to rendered view. Go to cycles, GPU, denoising. I'm going to select render and also viewport. I'm going to set both to open image denoiser. Works really good in this case. Now I'm going to add, I'm not going to add an environment environment texture. I'm going to add a sky texture. Um, so I'm going to change the sun elevation to about ten or five. Yeah, and I'm going to change the sun rotation. So. Just select your favorite rotation angle or sun angle if you will. What if I select this one coming from the back? Mm, it does not look that good. I, do, I want no dust and air. Oh wow, that was. I've never tried these settings before ozone what does that do does that make it brighter I, I don't see any difference okay now let's go to material preview now let's start shading select the blanket make it a blackish blue maybe ooh, ooh something's wrong here gz it there there we go or we can do more things like uh, select the blanket go to sculpting mode for extra realism you can select the cloth brush and then a oh, cloth brush then make some you know, cloth that looks a bit weird I'm going to stop now I'm going to stop now stop me uh, if there's some ar artifacts happening, you can use the smooth brush. That always works. Whew, okay, more smoothing, more smoothing. No, 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 no smoothing there. There is. Let me draw to cover that up. And yeah, that looks good. Now select the pillows. I'm going to keep them white. Ooh, how do I forget this every time I record this? Okay, select the pillow, forward slash to isolate the pillow, tab onto the pillow, and then select the middle line or line of faces. If it is an edge in the middle, hit Control Plus. If it is a face then it's good now scale it on the Z uh, proportional editing off scale it on the Z and hit Z twice because you have rotated it so scale Z Z so it's in the local axis scale it again scale Z Z 
to make it small and scale it again now we have that crease forward slash to remove the isolated view I'm going to keep this white and the roughness fully you know there now select the bed I'm going to make them and I don't know yellow so now you can see these two have the same color because it's duplicated so remove this from the frame and the below frame I don't know. and then make it I don't know brown select brown and now I'm going to select this brown but duplicate it and then make it a bit darker bit darker I'm going to select uh, the legs and then make it metal and bit you know reflective and now select all the legs and then select this leg the last control L link materials now they all have the same material uh, and uh, I think I'll change the background color also make it you know purple I don't know let's go to rendered view and check mm. let me render this and see what it looks like and uh, it's finished rendering uh, it took 20 seconds to render and 1 minute and 40 seconds uh, to denoise and I think it looks pretty good except for the cloth is a sculpting thing I did on the fold it does not look that good but I'll just keep on improving and I hope you learned something from this video please subscribe and I will see you in the next one